So you want a story, huh? How about the one about gradient descent? No? I don't know if I've told you this one before, but I could tell you about the time I quit data science. It's a little scary though. I don't know if you can handle it. Okay. Here it is. You read the title. And it isn't clickbait. I really did quit data science. It wasn't to do YouTube full time or anything fun like that either. About two and a half years ago, I took a business consulting and product ownership role at a quickly growing company in Chicago. I was still working with data scientists, but I wasn't doing any data science work. Admittedly, I only lasted about a year before leaving and becoming a data scientist again, but this is the story of why I left data science to begin with and what eventually brought me back to the field. Enjoy. Many of you are working hard to break into data science. You might be taken aback that I wanted to get out, at least temporarily. Why do I want to quit in the first place, you might ask. The first reason that I wanted to get out is I wanted to explore other types of roles, and I also wanted to work more with other people. As you can imagine, I'm quite extroverted. I make videos on the internet in my free time. And I thought that hybrid roles like project management, product ownership, and internal consulting would offer me more opportunities to communicate with others. I also wanted to eventually manage people, and I thought it might be difficult for me to make that jump in an individual contributor role like a data scientist. The second reason I left data science was because I wanted to explore other companies. I wanted to see what it was like to work in a fast paced, rapidly growing organization. My first data science roles were in either huge companies or very small ones. I wanted to explore again, this middle ground of a high growth company, and I wanted to see how they manage their teams and technology. I was still very loyal to the sports analytics company that I started with, and I had thoughts about potentially going back there and implementing some of the new things that I could learn in a new place one day. The third reason was that I wanted to try to leverage a different skill set. Could I manage projects effectively? Could I make a compelling business case for the data science projects that the teams were working on? Only way I'd find out is if I worked in a different role. Finally, the company that reached out to me with this position came with a very financially compelling offer. I don't usually like to comment on the money part of data science, but it wouldn't be honest if I said that this wasn't a consideration for me here. As I mentioned, I only lasted about nine months in this role before I decided to switch back to data science. The company was great and I met a lot of friends, but I learned quite a bit about myself in a short period of time. So why did I go crawling back to data science? And did data science even want me back? The first big surprise for me in my new role is that I realized I don't like directly managing people as much as I thought I would. It's hard for me to be overly dependent on others, and I always feel like I'm micromanaging when I have employees. I prefer doing data science work or managing the vision of the project, but not the implementation. In my current role, I do an even mix of these two things with a lot less implementation involved. The next thing I found is that I wasn't as organized as I thought. A lot of my work in that role was to send emails, to sit in on meetings, and to track the progress of projects. Admittedly, these are not my strong suits. Just look at my email inbox and it's a telltale sign. While data science requires organization and planning, keeping up with stakeholders isn't the main objective. I found that part of my work was also keeping up with office politics. I had to find time with the right people. I had to convince them to use our data science tools, etc. This part of the role just wasn't for me. I felt that if office politics didn't exist, my role would have been fairly redundant and I wouldn't have had any value in my position. That's kind of a strange feeling to have. You don't really get that as a data scientist. Now, most importantly, I also found that I missed the technical side of things. During this period, I started to do more YouTube projects and I fell in love with that process. YouTube also filled many of the gaps I was feeling when it came to being social in my data science roles. I'm so grateful for the community that's accumulated on my channel and in the 66 days of data discord. And it's been an incredible positive feedback loop for my career happiness and my content creation journey. The moral of this story is that I recommend exploring different roles. 
you'll learn a tremendous amount about yourself. I look back at this as a very positive experience and it really helped me to better understand what I wanted in my career.